can you tell me what you think Topeka should be because of this, the Brown versus Board decision? You had the problem of uh, where to place teachers, and now I, to me, it seems like they still kind of careful how they place black teachers on the west side, mm -hmm. and that's just my thinking. I don't know if anyone else is. Can you, can you tell me a little bit more about that? What do you well, only that I, I know there's not as many black teachers that were put, and still now I don't think there are a lot on the, if you talk about McClure and mm -hmm. McEachern and some of the Topeka West and some of the schools. And also I know a lot of that's due to neighborhood as far as the students where they go because our neighborhoods are not completely integrated, so that would make a difference in how, where you go. And I know I've talked to some of the people I used to work with, some of the whites, and I was, there's a, about four or five of us that get together every so often for birthdays. Mm -hmm. And I, I had been subbing as a pair, I didn't want to do it as a teacher, I didn't want that responsibility, but over, I wanted preschool. So a lot of times I was called for Pine Ridge and that got to be my favorite place to go because mm -hmm. they have a lot of resources. It's under 501, but I wondered if they get some grants or something because it's just really, really nice. And uh, so some these friends I ate, I that I eat with sometimes, and they were wondering, well, what is it like over there? Are the do the kids come clean, and do they look nice when they come? And I said, yes, they do. They have white and black over there, but it's mm -hmm. really, uh, um, it's really a nice area. I don't know, you know, nice, you know, the way they have the building set up. Uh, they, they just kind of. This took three buildings. Well, they're really a fourth one because they have a parent as teacher uh, program, a parents as teacher program in one building. But three buildings have classrooms, and they're very nice of the state of the art. <laughs> yeah, and that uh, that I know when I was working Holland Park Central, some people didn't like subbing on the east side. Mm -hmm. And it's still that kind of thing. I know some we had a summer program one year, and some a lady was babysitting with these kids, and she was unhappy that she had to come over to Holland Park Central to bring them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, do you did anyone ever express to you as to why they didn't like Highland Park Central, or just? Uh, yes, it's no, I when uh, the one person that I you know they knew about that was bringing her, the her the kids that she babysat with, she said that she didn't wasn't used to that neighborhood and she didn't really like having to come over there. Oh, okay, it sounds like you had a great long career. Were you involved in any civil rights activities or? No, the only thing I ever did was after I was out of high school. It must have been sixty or sixty one. Sam Jackson was, I guess he was president of our NAACP, he was a lawyer here, mm -hmm. and his, uh, you know, he eventually went to Washington, but he had a march one time that started downtown and we went to the board building, but the board building was at 8th and Topeka then, right. and he was going to talk about hiring um, black teachers. So uh, we went to the meeting and he did the talking and uh, also Connie Sawyer spoke. But uh, I had never been to anything like that and I it was almost kind of scary because the board was very uh, rude to him and one of them pounded the desk and oh, said wow. I said he was tired of Sam not you know s saying this and he said uh, well, give us the names of the teachers that have applied and haven't you know received jobs and he said no I would not do that publicly like that and uh, uh, so it was kind of that because as I say you know the schools had been integrated they did move some teachers to the white schools, but really not a lot at that time. Mm -hmm. So that's the only time I participate, you know, in anything. I remember that when we were in high school, we went to Bonner Springs to a rally, because Bonner Springs, were, they had more trouble than we were having. I think eventually our, our shows integrated before their show mm -hmm. did. And so um, I don't know whether they set a certain place, or I forgot how their shows were set up, uh, but um, they uh, 
we went to a rally down there that they had at some church, a black church there in uh, Boulder Springs. So those are only two things that I ever. Oh, well, that's, how did you even find out about those? Those. Oh, I guess that, you know, uh, they had a youth NAACP group back then, mm -hmm. and I know that uh, they were, uh, it was a Bill Kirkdall, he was a brother to James Kirkdall that you might know now, and he was far a little older than us, but he was, he kind of organized that, and, you know, we heard about it from word of mouth, and uh, the NACP was active then, and they formed that youth group too. You know. Oh, okay. So it was. It was. It sounds like the walkout that happened in '69 um, was also a youth-driven movement. So it's yes. like the, the youth were doing some things. Mm -hmm. You were just in the right age range to be. Involved, it sounds like. Yeah, and of course, by the time the '69, I was just starting, you know, in the program, uh, starting to work as a para. So I was, you know, grown then, because mm -hmm. I didn't start that until about 28. That's, uh, and I, as I say, I never expected to finish. So at that time, that's when that happened with the high school. I know they held one meeting at our church. Different places offered uh, meeting places so the parents and the young people could come mm -hmm. and they could have discussions. Our, our pastor at the time, uh, Reverend A.J. Pearson, uh, became active. I think the Council of Churches, they were trying to persuade the board not to go, come down hard on the parents mm -hmm. and the kids for the walkout. And uh, then one of the things they said they needed you know, they didn't have anyone for, like black counselors or whatever, and um, they couldn't find them, you know. Um, and it turned out that he had the qualifications for it. He had been a principal in, Arizona, in the, uh, Arkansas, and I guess he had, had training in counseling. So he started to work after that at Highland Park High School. I think that was one of their discussions that they said they wanted more blacks and like as counselors and mm -hmm. different jobs. And so uh, I, um, when I was at Monroe, my principal was uh, J.B. Holland and his wife, of course, I said was my fifth grade teacher. When they started placing teachers, uh, when I think I was in high school, maybe a junior, when they placed him, but he was one uh, that resigned as principal. Well, he just said he wanted to teach for a while, but it was uh, possibly because they wanted him, they needed him. And they placed him at Randolph and Whitson. And those were two areas that drew, you know, all white. Just, I don't think they had at that time any black at those two schools. And they placed him because they, you know, they were kind of handpicking who they placed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had two people, when I was doing housework, uh, a lady told me that she, uh, really liked J.B. Hall. He turned her son around. He was sixth grade, not interested in his work, and he went to Whitson, and he, they were trying, and she said he was a good influence. And then later, I had a principal at Holland Park Central that told me that was his favorite teacher. Oh, wow. Uh, so uh, I know uh, they really, you know, got to like him and got to know him. I think uh, now, I, I don't know this to be a fact, but uh, when they started placing, uh, you would think, oh, Whitson and Randolph, because they, they drew the people from Westboro and all, but they, uh, I had heard that maybe they were able, that if those, those people might accept it better, if they thought you were good, they would accept them, but if they placed them some other areas, where there were whites, some whites would not be as accept, uh, acceptable uh, of it as they right, were. Right. And once they decided he knew what he was doing, they were just, they started inviting, his wife told me they were getting invited to things all the time and she was saying well, she didn't really want to go those things, but you know, she would go. Yeah.